Welcome to this advice video tutorial. In this video you will learn more about the different script types and the new code editor. Also you will learn how to work with the code separation in your advice project. The code separation feature was developed to enable a modular development of client-side logics. With this feature you can improve the maintainability of your project and decrease the time of development by a better reusability of your logic modules. There are three different script types in advice. Embedded scripts, linked scripts and referenced scripts. Embedded scripts are scripts which are written and stored directly in the display. They are only available in that display. Linked scripts are logic modules which can be added to a display and can be maintained centrally. Reference scripts can be used to import JavaScript libraries from the internet or from the advice resources in the project. Examples for this are jQuery and the High Charts library. Before you start the tutorial, please ensure that you have the current advice version installed and that you have started an empty project. We are providing a framework for this tutorial. You can find the link to the download in the video description. Open the advice builder. Under the menu item Builder, click on Import Absolute from XML and choose the downloaded file. Under Servers, My Server, Displays, open the main display. You will see that three objects have been added already. To open the underlying object display, go to Object Types, click on the Object Conveyor Belt and open the Display Overview. By clicking on the indicator signs, you can see that they already have dynamic functions. These are shown in the lower right dynamics area. Open your browser and connect to the advice server. You can see that the conveyor belt object already has dynamic elements and that its indicator signs change their colors depending on the operation mode. We'll now save these dynamics into a logic module and apply them to the other elements. Change back to the advice builder. Click on Code Editor. You can see the dynamic functions as embedded script. Before we start saving the code globally, let's take a look at the Code Editor window. In the upper section, you can find all the controls to edit, add or delete a script. In the left section, you can see the integrated scripts listed by code blocks. In the right section, you can find all the dynamic functions that are integrated in the chosen code block. In addition to the familiar functions like undo, redo, copy and so on, there is now the option to switch between the SVG or the JavaScript code by clicking on the switch to SVG code button. With a click on the yellow button with the letter L, you can add a script block for a linked script. With a click on the blue button with the letter R, you can add a script block for a referenced script. With a click on the yellow convert button with the letter L, you can convert an existing embedded script into a linked script. With a click on the gray button with the letter E, you can convert a linked script into embedded script. With the arrow buttons, you can expand or collapse all script blocks. If you have more than one script block, you can change their order. With a click on the Dreshkin icon, you can delete single script blocks. To save the functions into a linked script, you first must create a new file. Close the code editor and do not save the changes. As with all advice resources, the project tree structure is split into advice and project. On the library, click on advice and then on display scripts. Here you can find all scripts which are referenced by the advice standard elements. To create your own scripts, go to Library and click on Project, then right-click on Display Scripts. Click on Add Display Script and enter a name for the script. With a double-click, you can open the script directly and edit it. Close the script window. Close the display window to discharge the changes and open the overview display of the conveyable object again via double click in the project tree. Now we want to export the functions from this object. Open the code editor. Click on the yellow convert button with the letter L. Under display scripts project you can find the script we created earlier. 
choose the script and click on OK. Save the script and confirm the warning. Save the display. Open the browser and reload the page to ensure that all functions are still working. Change back to the Advice Builder. To apply the script to other objects, open the display overview of the chosen object, for example engine. To apply the status indication to all objects, the SVG IDs of the elements must be the same. Open the code editor. Add a script block for a linked script. Change the name of the script block and click on the Select File button. Choose the file you saved earlier and click on OK. To make changes in linked scripts, you first have to click on the pen icon to unlock the script. Please keep in mind that changes to a linked script will affect all objects which refer to it. Click on Save. Save the display. Repeat the steps of opening the display, opening the code editor, adding a linked script and saving to the pump object. Open the browser and reload the page. The features are now also available for the other objects. You can also add already existing advice scripts to your object. To demonstrate this, we will implement the standard alarm indication of the advice elements into one of the objects. The alarm indication script activates or deactivates a visual indication depending on the status of an alarm. Open the code editor of the conveyable object. Add a script block for a linked script. Under Display Scripts, Advice, Common, choose the Indicator Handling script and click on OK. Add one more script block for a linked script. Choose from the Display Scripts project folder the script alarm indication. This script initializes the event handler for the alarm indication of the element so that the blinking frame has a dynamic when the alarm condition changes. Save the script and the display. Open the browser and reload the page. You can now see that the indication is active if you trigger an alarm and that it stays active until the alarm is acknowledged. With the help of display parameters you can change the behavior of logic modules for single objects. First add a display parameter to all object displays. Open the display and click on File and then on Parameters. Add a color parameter, for example, Outer Color. Change the value type to Color and the default value to Green. Click on OK and save the display. Repeat this for all three displays. Open the script you created earlier. With the function webmi.query, you can access the display parameters in a client-side script. Change the color value of the indicator 1 to webmi.query square bracket open quote autocolor quote square bracket close. Save the script. If the main display is already open, close it and then open it again to load the parameter changes. The object instances have now a new display parameter, AutoColor. Change this parameter for example to blue or violet. Save the display and open your browser. Reload the page. You can now see the color changes depending on the display parameter, but the behavior can still be controlled via the logic module. Congratulations! You have learned about the code editor, converted embedded scripts into linked scripts, learned how to include advice standard scripts into your project elements and how you can work with display parameters in combination with linked scripts. Thank you for watching this advice video tutorial. For more information, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us on advice.com.